What's going on guys, Geosnow right here, so in today's video I have some great news for those of you running on iOS 10.2.1, a new jailbreak might be created soon for this specific version. So uh, let's take a look on that, we're talking about Antique Dev, which is a tweak developer and he announced on uh, his Twitter today, quote, first iOS 10.2.1 release could be soon, just need to finalize some things and test within the team. Now he's talking about the Tigris team and we have uh, their Twitter in here. This jailbreak team has been uh, created somewhere around June, if I'm not wrong. And uh, yeah, they're specialized on creating jailbreaks. And uh, unlike other, you know, beginner jailbreak teams, they are composed, you know, the, the team is composed out of real uh, tweak developers. Now, taking a look in here, you can see that Antique Dev also has some issues with the community. And that is part of the, um, of a higher of a bigger problem that is the fact that tigris team has promised a um, 9.3.5 jailbreak in the past long before phoenix has been created and they did not deliver and part of the problem was that one of the team members have uh, lied on the other team members saying that he got a complete jailbreak working and made them to you know, post on Twitter the, the fact that they they will release when in fact that dude lied and of course the team has um, has got a bad image after that. Well, that's part of the um, the reason Antique Dev and other T Tigris members are so hated. Now, as I said, these guys in here are part of a uh, jailbreaking team, but they do know how iOS works at least you know, partially. They are tweak developers, they do build tweaks, especially uh, Antique Dev in here. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they are able to at least do something, I don't know, close to a patch or, I don't know, a binary modification and so on. I'm not really sure about their ability to create a jailbreak though, but that remains to be seen. Anyways, I think they do use the uh, ZIVA exploit created by Adam Donenfield and published a couple days ago, in fact three days ago, and uh, it says in here an iOS kernel exploit designed to work on all iOS devices lower than iOS 10.3.1, iOS 10.3.1 included. So it is compatible with iOS 10.2.1 and it's probably pretty much what they ended up using. Now, uh, uh, I remember Luca said something about his KPP bypass that might be working on 10.2.1 as well, so it's probably what they're going to use. I have seen some tweets from uh, Antique Dev claiming that the jailbreak might be named Yalu 10.2.1. So yeah, I uh, I really don't know what's going to end up in here, but as I said, he is um, a tweak developer. He does know how iOS works, at least to a greater level than, you know, past beginner teams that ended up not releasing anything. So yeah, we'll be, we'll be able to see what's going on in here. But anyways, take a look on Antique Dev and take a look on the official Tigris team uh, Twitter to make sure you don't miss out when uh, they release something. Now, Antique Dev has also said that he's going to release a uh, video demo, but he had a couple problems. Uh, he says in here, quote, I would release a video showing the uh, progress, but real world problems such as internet connection and brother playing online could be tonight. So yeah, he might might as well release a uh, video demo showing up, you know, the pro progress of the team and the uh, jailbreak they achieved. So uh, yeah, it would be pretty nice if he does so, we're going to probably have an idea on whether they are able to build something close to a jailbreak or a jailbreak or not. Now, for the moment, I do believe in them. I do believe they are able to, to develop if they you know put work in it. But yeah, it remains to be seen. I uh, wouldn't tell you to you know get your, um, your hopes too high for the moment. But anyways, at least we have someone working on it. So let's see what we end up getting. Anyways, that's pretty much it. As I said, go follow Antique Dev and go follow Tigris team for more info. Subscribe to this channel because I'm going to bring you the news whether they're releasing something or not. So yeah, till the next time, I'm Geosnow. Peace out.